Nope. Nope. Not. Nope. Not. No. 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 Not going to believe this. Not happening. Never going to happen. My entire YouTube channel would collapse because, you know, as the my many detractors and haters say, it's the only thing I ever cover on my YouTube channel, which has thousands of videos. I, I just I won't know what to talk about if there's no Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. There, there, there's just, this can't be. This simply can't be. No, 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 no. Maybe? This can't be. There's, there's no way. No way. Brie Larson out as Captain Marvel. Rumored recast. That can't possibly be true. Can it? By the way, as of the time of this filming, we are just 3,970 subscribers short of a million. If you aren't subscribed or you don't have a YouTube account, please make today the day that you make an account, you subscribe, you sign up, you get my notifications every once in a while. It just makes finding my videos easier. And with your help, we could literally make history here. I mean, for a bearded guy in the basement. It is claimed, there's a red subscribe button down there. That's not a claim, that's true. It's claimed that Brie Larson might be out as Captain Marvel with the role rumored to be recast in the MCU. The rumor comes from Overlord DVD YouTube channel. Now, I will tell you this and I will give a shout out to Overlord. I find his channel very interesting and he has been right about a lot. He was basically 100% right about the Rise of the Skywalker leaks and many other things from inside sources from Disney. That doesn't mean he's right about this, but he has had a history of being right, but this would be mind-boggling. This would genuinely be mind-boggling. Uh, the ruler uh, who previously said Disney's was in confidence in Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Around the time of the release of Captain Marvel and the Avengers Endgame, it was reported that Brie Larson didn't get along with the cast and that her future in the MCU was in doubt. Recently, also saw YouTuber Grace Randolph offer that Brie Larson is unlikable and that Captain Marvel directors didn't deliver not that they're directing or writing a se oh they're not directing or writing the sequel see that's a valid point they the fact that they removed the directors and writers for the sequel is a very interesting one uh, but also it's weird to me because the movie made a billion dollars a billion dollars I, I mean what was the ceiling for that movie you know what I mean like what what about that movie were you unhappy with? We can also add that it appears that as if Brie Larson and Captain Marvel will not be involved with Feige's MCU Phase 4 plans, which look to all would to be all about Elizabeth Olsen and Scarlet Witch creating the multiverse. Rumors have offered that Larson and Olsen don't get along. Interestingly, Feige took back comments that said Larson's Captain Marvel was the most powerful character and the future of the MCU, with Feige now stating that Olsen's Scarlet Witch is the most powerful character in the uh, MCU. Um, also, this is the article saying this, and again, Cosmic Book News reports on rumors, all right? Um, I'm also of the opinion that following the release of Captain Marvel, considered the last Jedi of the MCU, as it divided the fan base so strongly that an attempt was made to relaunch Brie's public image to make her more likable, which is why we saw Brie Larson in that super spicy dress on Jimmy Kimmel and why Larson's PR team made the decision to launch her own YouTube channel. Now, this very well could be true. Uh, you know, ultimately... Now, here's where things get kind of spicy. Uh, but it's going over by Overlord DVD. It has backfired big time. So much so that Brie Larson may be done as Captain Marvel. He claims that Disney has taken notice of how bad the YouTube channel of Brie Larson is performing as videos have gone from getting as high as 2.2 million views down to only 90K most recently. Most recently. Now, that's true. Um, but she still has some decent... You know, I've turned into a Brie Larson stan, legitimately. 
No, I don't watch our YouTube videos. I don't think Hollywood needs extra views from me. I'd rather watch Sue uh, Dankula's wife baking than Brie Larson. But I would say like, yeah, I mean, 100K to, you know, but there's still some that have 200K. And given that she has 454,000 subscribers, that's a decent uptake rate. Usually getting 10% of your subscribers viewing a video when you're a more mature YouTube channel is pretty good. So her getting nearly, you know, 25 to 50%, that seems really good. When you look at her channel though, it's still growing. It's growing by maybe two to 300 subscribers a day, 267 to be exact. And she's averaging 30,000 views a day, um, nearly a million views a month. Again, her content, I will say this, I give her credit because her content is not cringe. I'm a super rich celebrity. And here's a bunch of my other celebrities in the thumbnail to get views. They're just Brie doing Brie Larson, which could be part of the PR effort. And maybe what you're seeing on our YouTube channel is actually a finely scripted version of Brie Larson, or it maybe it really is who she is. I guess no one would really know. I imagine when you've been in Hollywood since you were 10 years old, you probably don't even know who the heck you are. The idea that her YouTube channel is failing, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's not headed in the right direction, given that it launched with 1.6 million views in August, then it dropped to 1.4, then it dropped to 1, and then in November, just 765. So her viewership is down more than 50%. Uh, her monthly gained subscribers after the initial PR push has plummeted. You know, 50,000 in August, 50,000 in September, down to 17,000 in October, and a paltry 7,000 in November. Now, granted, November was tough for YouTube. Even, you know, my channel didn't grow much either. So I don't know. I, I wouldn't say our YouTube channel is failing. It's definitely peaked. Um, but again, she's not, um, she's not exactly like going all in with the Hollywood YouTube content. She's literally just bait. I'll scroll down so you can read the article now. According to a number of sources, Disney is not happy with Brie and they've taken notice that our YouTube channel is tanking, says uh, Overlord DVD. I can't say his real name because I think it'll get, you know, it's an, yeah. So I'm not skipping it because I don't like him. I'm skipping it because I'll, you know. The mouse does not like the stench of losers, even when woke losers. And unfortunately for Brie, she's such a high profile person as the base or face of the MCU moving forward. She made it very easy for any objective analyst to look and see for themselves that this is not a popular woman. The notion that her YouTube channel is tanking is one that we can confirm for ourselves. He offers that Disney may be ready to scrape the mold away. He says sources have filled him in that while it isn't set in stone that Brie is gone, she is currently on very thin ice. Disney has been paying attention to the downward trajectory of her YouTube page, and trust me, they know people don't like her. I don't know. I mean, if you look at a video she uploaded five days ago, okay, you know, long after the original hubbub, 12,000 upvotes, 600 downvotes, that's normal. I mean, that's relatively decent. It's not like the top comments are, look at me defending Brie Larson. Um, you know, it's there's nothing here that, uh, you know, makes people, it makes me believe that she's getting a ton of hate. Um, you know, Disney, uh, trust me, people, they know people don't like her. Regarding the ouster of Brie Larson, it might even involve Captain Marvel getting dumped from the MCU completely. A billion dollar franchise? When you're about to trot out the Eternals? That doesn't make sense. Um, even though, uh, as the sources tackle the rumor that Rogue is coming to the MCU, which is something I've been told could happen. My agent shared with me that the source is persistent rumor that they have been hearing regarding Captain Marvel and at some point that the X-Men are back in the MCU. Rogue will steal Captain Marvel's powers, putting her in a coma and then taking her place in the MCU. The source indicated that yes, they heard the rumor as well and there were two viable strategies for ousting Brie from the MCU that were floating around currently. He also does claim that Kevin Feige still wants Captain Marvel in the MCU, but again, it might be without Brie Larson. I don't know. I mean, first of all, this the the uproar that recasting would cause uh, would be a disaster 
for PR unless there's like some actual dirt on um, Brie. Like there would have to be legitimate dirt on her. Um, otherwise, why? It just it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, it seems Kevin Feige definitely wants Captain Marvel. Um, in the MCU, so keeping the character and recasting her is a possibility. For example, one source indicated Feige was bringing Captain America and Iron Man back with different actors playing them. The advantages of this would be, of course, cost-cutting as replacing the characters with actorless pricey than Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans has a certain attention in the virality-impacted fiscal times. Oh, virally inspected. If, um, plus, replacing the older actors with younger actors would ensure a nice long run before they have to make a swap again. So simply switching Brie Larson out at the time as the rest get swapped by some sort of alternate universe storyline is an option. Um, I don't know. Um, I, 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 for one, still don't think I'll ever accept anybody uh, else who, to play Wolverine. Um Will other people, you know, for example, like, I don't know if my brain will allow me to support Iron Man not played by Robert Downey Jr. Um, this is a big problem that X-Men had. You know, they had their heyday, but you had like that, you know, uh, Patrick Stewart as Xavier. You had um, uh, the Logan. Uh, why can't I think of his names right now? His name right now, but the same actor playing Wolverine. Um, that's the problem, really. Um, so let, so he goes over two ways that the Brie Larson might get replaced. Let Brie, Brie film Captain Marvel 2, and at the end of the film, Captain Marvel sacrifices herself to save everyone. Brie fans will be saddened but placated, potentially with a noble sacrifice, and will be a way of bringing her back with a more genial, less controversial actress. As for the second replacement strategy, Brie goes on a trip with time travel device and simply gets lost, never to return. He thinks that Brie Larson is out at Cap as Captain Marvel has a good chance of happening. With all that baggage, I say it stands good chance to happen. It's again noted that Feige still wants Captain Marvel as a part of the MCU. They talk about who could replace her. Katie Sackhoff, Gina Carano, Mandalorian actresses. According to a source, names have been mentioned to replace Brie Larson as Captain Marvel include Katie Sackhoff and Gina Carano, the unknown and an unknown woman of color. Um, he also, I don't know, because again, Gina Carano also is, is a divisive figure. Um, there are a lot of people that don't like her for crazy, absurd reasons. Um, you know, further says the source of filled him in that the reasons there are rumor going around Gina Carano, Cara Dune's Star Wars series spinoff from The Mandalorian is that Jon Favreau wants to keep Gina Carano in Star Wars and doesn't want her jumping ship to Feige's MCU. Probably the same with Katie Sackhoff. Um, and we can also add that Favreau has been able to show strong female actors and characters in The Mandalorian without making them look woke like Feige did with Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I don't I I don't know. It's a it's a it's a spicy meatball to put on your plate today on December 9th. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, we are now just 2900 subscribers away from a million. There's a red subscribe button down there. I know almost 30% of my viewers don't even have YouTube accounts. Maybe today let today be the day you create one. Um it's free. And you can subscribe, so once in a while you'll get notified and you'll see me in your subscription feeds. It'll just be easier to find my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll talk to you again real soon.